Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining this session on integrating branches, merging, rebasing, and squashing in Visual Studio and GitHub, where we'll cover the different ways you can integrate changes from other branches using Git and how each works in VS and on the web in GitHub. Whether you merge or rebase a secondary branch, you'll end up with the same changes being added to your primary branch. The difference lies in how the commits are connected in your Git history. When merging, your primary branch will get a new merge commit, and you'll have the entire history of the second branch preserved as a detour in your graph, as shown in the graph here. When rebasing, every commit in your secondary branch gets replayed on top of your primary branch, as if you made those commits on your primary branch to begin with. As shown in the graph here, you can see they have the same commits, but are connected differently. Compared with merging, you get a cleaner history and a linear commit graph, which is helpful for rolling back changes. Sometimes these actions result in merge conflicts, which we covered in more detail in another video. Once you pick your method, it's easy to either merge into current branch or rebase current branch onto from the context menu. When you complete a pull request on GitHub, you can choose from the following options and your organization can configure which merge type it allows on a given branch. When either of these strategies are combined with squashing, you lose the individual commits from the secondary branch and the result is a single commit with a new commit message. This is useful if you want to throw away the source branch completely, going from a branch with multiple commits into a single commit. To squash, simply hold control and select a set of commits you'd like to combine into a single commit and right click and select squash commits. Thanks for watching everyone.